Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC, here in Vanilla FM, and we're going to take a look at how the club is going now that um, we've played for half as a season. I've just completed the transfer window and played one match just to get the players up to speed. And uh, we're going to play another another match just uh, next, but before we do, I'm just going to take you to the uh, transfers that we've made during the transfer window. Only two. So, uh, my... The reasoning behind this was uh, we are, you know, struggling a little bit for money. So I thought, you know what, I'll see if there's any players worth uh, selling. So that's what I did. Um, let me go and get it. Da -da -da. History. So I sold Alex with a, um, uh, like a percentage of next um, transfer clause, but also um, percentage of next profit clause as well. It's got two clauses on him if he gets sold by Shamrock's, uh, Shamrock Rovers in the future. And in the meantime, we got a player for free, Harry Hagen, but it turns out he wasn't quite cutting it. So we ended up having to spend some money on Finley Coleman. So he's just arrived at the club. He's brand new to us. Uh, Harry at the moment is in the under 21, just kind of coaching that team there. They are struggling a little bit. They're in uh, last position of the league for their league. I don't think they've won a match yet for the league. So they've just drew and lost a bunch of matches, but no wins yet. In contrast, the under 18s have been doing pretty well. Um, again, no lot. These guys are the opposite. So no losses for the league j yet. They've lost for cups and stuff, but not for the league. So they are up there with Swindon for their league, which is pretty good. Uh, right, as far as we uh, we go, we are in second place currently. Um, Birmingham has uh, pretty much been one match behind the majority of the championship. We were in first for a long time and we had a couple wobbles recently with uh, a loss, our first loss for the, ch for the league against Flitwood, and then we drew since then. We're going to play uh, Nottingham next, and hopefully, I think we can hang on to, to kind of, if we don't win the title, we could at least get a, a straight promotion, I think, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, so not too concerned about getting promotion, which is surprising, bearing in mind we are recently promoted to this league. We don't have any finances to update the team. We haven't really updated the team all that much since the promotion. So we are doing extremely well. Uh, if we just look at our um, record of games, our first defeat was against Reading for the Carabao Cup. And they are in the championship, so two leagues above us. Uh, then in the group for the Papa John's trophy, we finished second, I think, and then we went on to to play the second round against uh, Wycom and lost against Arsenal under 21s for the third round, which is a semi-final for the certain section. For the FA Cup, we lost the second round against Forest Green on a replay match, and that's it. So now we only have league games left, and. Otherwise, we're doing pretty well. Yarki is doing really good. We haven't really made massive changes to the team in, in recent years, so so that's why we have such a cohesive um, team. Doing pretty well as far as the board is concerned, and also as far as the supporters are concerned as well. We're doing okay. Uh, Kidderminster. Is Kidderminster even in this league? Da da da. Supporters. No. Okay. Oh, reserving judgment. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I think we'll be doing okay. Our main concern is finances. We are half a million in red, and um, I don't really see where that income is going to come from in the future. So we just need some good investment from the board or something. I prepared the team for the next match. We have a couple of players that need resting and stuff, so I decided to sacrifice a place to. Um, Keith Richardson, who's been hanging around for ages um, in the under 21s. And we're going to go ahead and play it. I'm not expecting a win here. Probably even lose, maybe. 
against not Nottingham. And there we go. We don't really have particular um, positions of weakness this year. I think if I would have to pick one, I'd probably pick the flanks. So um, attacking midfielder right and left. Not the best really out there, to be honest. And they haven't been the best for ages, to be fair. Our defense is pretty good. Um, goalkeeper is pretty good. Although he's starting to show that he's, you know, topped out. So in this league, like last league, in the, in the previous division, he was, you know, probably one of the best goalkeepers out there. In this league, not so much. He's like pretty average, but we're doing okay with him. So that's fine. I suspect we are going to lose this game now, seeing that we started on a loss. That's going to open up the gap against Birmingham, but we, we have time to catch up, so I'm not overly concerned. And I think we play against them anyway. We still have a match to play against them, so not overly concerned. It would be nice to win the championship. Uh, sorry, to win the title. Uh, but I think, in either way, whether we win or finish second or third, or even if we have to go to playoffs in the end, I think promotion is pretty much guaranteed. Um, I don't. I don't think we can um, expect anything else at this point. I tried to bring in some players on loan over the winter transfer window. Uh, particularly for the left side of attack and also defensive midfield. But it just wasn't meant to be. They accepted other offers, so... So that, that, that didn't happen in the end. It would be really nice next season to be able to expand our stadium or even build a new one. But I don't think the club has funds for that. So, as always, I'm always hoping for some sort of um, investor that will take over the club. A bit like the Wrexham, uh, Wrexham effect. Talking about Wrexham, they've been promoted, haven't they? So, they will be playing this league that we're playing now in um, real life. Which is nice. So I suppose we are kind of doing a bit of a wreck some his history here as well. Now 3 nil down already. That is quite heavy. Okay. Lots of poor performances in this match. We have just played another match two, like three days before. So that is probably one of the factors for this. And also we're playing away from home. As well, I'm gonna try and get all the subs done now. Um, there we go. I think that'll be it. Yeah, even the substitutes are struggling for fitness because we've just played another match previously. So we are pretty tired as a team.
that was a, a shot that could have gone in quite easily. All right, so we're gonna try and catch up with you guys um, just before the end of the season. I'll see how the season goes, and obviously we'll have to decide whether you know it depends um, where I'm at in the table. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the season, and hopefully it'll be just a straight promotion. But it might have to involve playoffs. We'll see. Take care. So much for watching for watching until the end, and uh, yeah, you can also check out Patreon. Bye bye.